In this video, I'm going to be setting up Amazon One Link. What Amazon One Link enables you to do is connect the different Amazon associate accounts that you may have with different countries. Say you've got an Amazon associate account with Amazon.co.uk and an Amazon associate account with Amazon.fr in France. You can connect those two together. Then it doesn't matter which link someone follows. If they follow the UK link and then they end up on the French site and place an order, you'll still get credited with a commission. It's a really good thing to do if you've got traffic coming from lots of different countries, it means you're not gonna be missing out on any commission. Now you do need to be signed up as an associate with the different countries, but it's actually really easy to do that once you've signed up with one, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So that's enough chit chat from me. Let's get on the computer, let's get it set up. So I'm over at bestroofbox.com, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites, only recently launched in fact, and I'm just finishing off the edit on my full length video tutorial on how I built this site. So be sure to make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out when I upload that video. While I was building this site, I discovered that there's different cars in different countries, which I guess I should have probably been aware of, but for example, you can't buy a Peugeot in the States. And I've recently just published um, an article all around Peugeots. Now I was originally gonna just target this site um, in the US, but now I'm gonna kind of broaden it out and go for UK and Europe as well because of the differences between different car models and stuff like that. So this is where one link comes in so that I can link all my different Amazon associate accounts together. Then regardless of where the visitor ends up, whichever Amazon, I still get credited a commission. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is set up an Amazon associate account on each of the different Amazon sites. So if you wanna to link together Italy and Germany and France and the US and the UK, then you need to go to each one of those respective Amazon sites and sign up. So for example, this is amazon.de, which is where I've just signed up as an Amazon associate. Just went down the bottom here. By the way, I've translated it from German into English. You can do that with Google Translate or in fact, you may even be able to uh, set a language down here. It'll be a translation as well. But you can do it through your browser or whatever if you struggle with German or Italian or whatever. So there's a link here to the affiliate program. And then you go sign up for free and you log in with your Amazon account, which should work. So if you've got an Amazon account on amazon.com, it will work on here anyway, sign in with that. Fill in a form, pretty much the same on every Amazon site. It's gonna ask you for your site URL and what kind of site it is and, and all that kind of stuff. Put in some basic information and then they'll give you your um, Amazon account, Amazon associate account straight away. It's only after you start sending some traffic, that's when they'll come and check out whether your site's up to scratch. Now, when you've finished or when you get to the end of the Amazon uh, associate sign up, so uh, on the German one, I ended up here. That's my uh, partner ID for Germany. It then enables you to quickly sign up with other countries so you don't have to fill in the form each time, which is great. So saves a lot of time. So you get these buttons, register now. There was a button here that said register now, I clicked it. It instantly signed me up for Amazon in Spain. There was another button here, I clicked it. Signed me up for Amazon in France. There was another one here, clicked it. Signed me up for Amazon in Italy. I haven't clicked this one because I've already got an Amazon.co.uk associates account, so no need to do that. So yeah, that's a really quick way of getting yourself all signed up. Um, just sign up with one and then you can click these buttons and it will just quickly sign up with the others. I think this might just be an EU thing. Think if you're gonna go for the States, then you're gonna have to just do that one manually because that wasn't an option here. So amazon.com, you're gonna have to do it uh, on its own. Anything in Europe, you can do it all kind of in one go. So we're gonna need these partner IDs. So I'm just gonna leave this page open. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to amazon.com. It's kind of like, ooh, if I can spell, let's well, find it redirected. Um, yeah, go to amazon.com. I'm gonna go into the um, Amazon Associate dashboard area. That's my annoying passport manager, passport, <laughs> password manager keep popping up. So here we go, no earnings, because I only recently set up this account, it's only been up about a week or so. My US one, I've got 101 clicks though, that's not too bad, so maybe something's gonna happen soon. So I think it's the easiest to start with the US one. I'm sure it'd be very similar on the UK. I mean, let's have a quick look. So here we are, no fees on that old tracking ID. <laughs> Don't use that one anymore. 
So uh, let's just have a quick look. So it doesn't look like there is the one link link in the .co.uk one. So I think you are gonna have to do it through your .com account looking at this. So let's do that. This is a .com. Within the .com associates dashboard, you've got this product link in, or not even the product link in, you've got the tools. That's where we wanna be. Under tools, you've got this one link. Let's give it a click. There we go, look. That's what we wanna do. So link your accounts, let's do that first. Step one, click here. And then here we go. So for the UK, it's asking for the UK store ID. I guess we get that from in here. I think it's this thing up here, which is your main associate ID. Can I copy this? Here we go. So I think it's that rather than the individual tracking IDs. Let's go back, let's paste it in, see if it works. There we go. Perfect. I haven't actually signed up for Canada, but I do have Germany, uh, which I've got uh, here. Give it a copy. Oh, yeah, that's the UK, don't need that anymore. Paste in the German one. Oh, there's some spaces come across, remove them. Done. France. Uh, down here, look. Again, remove any, oh, weird spaces. Okay, so that's just pending. I think it's just because I've uh, just recently set it up. Let's do Spain. Back to here. There we go. Ooh, paste it in. That one's very funny. It seems to be just the French that are pending me for whatever reason. Uh, and then finally is Italy. Not quite sure why I said it like that, but hey. <laughs> Probably trying to do my best Italian accent. So there we go, they're all linked up. I don't have Japan or Canada right now, so I'm not too worried about that anyway. So that's step one. Let's go back to one link, which is not there. <laughs> Let's go back in this way. Okay, we've done that. Step two, copy the code. So we need to add some code to the website. So that's fine. We'll copy this into the clipboard. It says, uh, well, it says down here, where do we wanna place it? Copy the one tag show and integrate it into the footer. We can do that. So I'm gonna go back to my website. Now I've already got a header and footer code insertion plugin running. I've got it running because I'm running Google AdSense and you have to add some code for that too. If you don't have a plugin that enables you to add code easily, you wanna to go to um, add new, and in the search box you wanna type in insert, header, and footer. And it's this one that comes up here, the first one, which well, should be the first one, it's got a blue icon, it's called insert headers and footer. Now I've already got it installed as I say. So you need to click the install now button, and then the activate, active, <laughs> activate button. Once you've done that, under settings, you'll find a new uh, area called insert headers and footers. Go into there. As I said, I've already got some script in my header. There it is. We wanna put this script into the footer. So come to the footer box, paste, and save. That's that done. So yeah, that's step two done. Let's see what step three is. Oh, start earning. Okay, well then we'll do that. Let's start earning. So that's it, we're all done. Hopefully now everything's all linked and we'll receive commission regardless of the Amazon site that our visitors order on. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully you got your one link all set up and working as it should. If you've got any questions or comments about this or about anything in general really, leave them below. I do read all the comments I get and I will try to reply to as many as I possibly can. There's a couple of videos that have appeared on the screen now. They've been chosen especially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. You can subscribe by clicking on the eagle and go check out my vlog channel by clicking on my face. Until next time.
Bye for now.